This call is being recorded. All right, all right. Hey, welcome to the call this morning. This is Coach 100K helping you to make six figures in this industry. Guys, an industry that will allow you to live the life you deserve to live. You know, um, nothing's like the six-figure life, I'm telling you. Uh, and you need to experience it because it is God's best for you. I'll tell you real quickly, there are three lands now. Maybe you've been there before, but there are three lands. One is preferred. Uh, there's the land of not enough. Many of us have been there. We don't have enough. You just can't make ends meet. Too much month at the end of the money. Then there's another, another place called the land of just enough, and that's where uh, you do have enough, but my God, there's nothing left over. I mean, just enough for you, your foe, and no more. And then there's the land, the preferred land for the believer, is the land of more than enough where you live in a state of always having too much and no more room okay so we, we wish the best for you and the best on you this day but let's get into our call this morning we got a special treat for you let's let me get out of the way and relinquish my time to his time and then this is our breakthrough specialist uh master of breakthrough i'll tell you right now guys my friend arthur uh, empowerment speakers well sought after all over the world and he's having people break through all the time he and his wife uh, have dedicated their lives to inspire others even after they have expired they're going to do it even from the glory from glory land we thank god for them they are the uh uh uplift international global trainers as well as shop free more number one income earner as well as crown seven Dr. Breakthrough is breakthrough time, sir. Shark, shark. Shark, shark. Okay, thank you, Coach 100K. <clears throat> and as I always say, man, praise God, what, a, what an incredible mandate that's on your life and the mission that you're walking out, empowering 100,000 families to enjoy the six-figure lifestyle. And, of course, we always say it's not about the money. It's what the money affords people to do. And so many people have been trapped, and uh, you're kind of like the financial Moses helping to set them free, giving them ideals and concepts and strategies and, and being in their corner. You know, <clears throat> folks, sometimes you just need to know somebody's in your corner, right? You just need to know that, that uh, you know, your financial breakthrough, that there's somebody there to coach you, to support you. Um, and so appreciate uh, – don't take light of, of Coach 100K, Pastor Kenny Smith. Don't, don't take light. This man has made millions. This man has a heart. is just incredible. Uh, he and his lovely wife, the queen shark. And so, um, you know, Benjamin Franklin said, when the well's dry, they know the worth of water. And so you want to know the worth of water while you got it. Come on, somebody. Well, hey, I'm super excited this morning <laughs> because our special guest speaker today is none other than Willie Lee Tubbs. Now, you know, we had an incredible reset conference this weekend and I tell you, it, I mean, my goodness, speakers from far and near. And then, of course, Tom Ziegler and many, many others of the, of the different speakers there. And, and, oh, my goodness, it was just it was some powerful people in the room. And, uh, and, you know, I was blessed to be the keynote speaker. And that just usually means they pay you and you get to speak longer, right? <laughs> so, but they actually, I never had a conference where they opened up with the keynotes. Uh, but then they closed out with this guy, and then they had, you know, Tom was coming in the middle, but then they had closed out with this guy that you're about to hear. I was I was so impressed uh, by the spirit of God of what he had to say. Uh, I mean, I don't know if he caught me, man. I'm, I was on the front row in tears, man. I was like, you know, the, to, um, oh, come on now, to see the growth. Because, see, sometimes people don't understand when you care about people and you pour your life into people, you know, Paul said, I, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. And, um, you know, when you, when, you can, when you can be used of God to help impact somebody for good, and as Coach so aptly said, Nadi and I, we, uh, you know, we aspire to inspire breakthroughs even after we've expired, and so there's a breakthrough legacy that we want to leave on touching people's hearts and lives so that they, they, they're breaking through. Now, uh, I was talking to one pastor, and uh, he made a statement that, wow, it just hit me. He said, 
because uh, I told him, I said, I used to marvel at the men and women who are used of God, and now I only marvel at the God who uses men and women. I said, I keep trying to tell people. I don't think they get it. There's no big eyes and little U's. There's just a big God who wants to use you, but he just needs you to submit. He just needs you to stay faithful, right? And this pastor said to me, he said, yes, I used to call people great men of God. Now I say the man of the great God. I was like, oh, my goodness. And so I've been saying that over and over and over again. I said like five times in our conversation with him just so it would lock into my brain. And, um, you know, I didn't even have to write that one. That, that one had such an indelible impact. I was like, wow, the man of the great God. And you're going to hear from a young man who understands the greatness of his God and is allowing the greatness of God to shine through him. I mean, when you, if, if, if you understand, my friend, how much you are a solution and there's just problems out there waiting for you. Well, this young man picked up on that, and that's what he's been doing. So he's been, God's been opening up more and more doors for speaking engagements. He's an author. He's a, he's a husband. He's a father and uh, served in our armed forces. The guy has joy and excitement. And, you know, there's a big difference between excitement and hype. You know, hype is just getting excited and there's nothing behind it. This guy has the, the excitement, the enthusiasm, and backs it up. And you're going to hear him with great delight. And that is Willie Tubbs. They call him the reset coach, but he's got a new program. I was sharing with Coach, a new program that literally could be used to change the world for young people in school who don't and can't afford lunches to no longer be shamed. And he, he'll probably, I'm, I'm sure, mention to you. So get something to write on, something to write with. I promise you, I promise you, you're going to get something out of this. I know I did. And I'm looking to hear it. I want to hear it all over again. Willie Tubbs. Take it away, man. Do what you do best. Let your God speak through you. Awesome, awesome, Dr. Stan. Can you hear me? Loud and clear, champ. Uh, well, first of all, you know, I want to give honor to God for what he has done in my life, giving me opportunity to show uh, the world who I am and whose I am. And second of all, I would like to uh, say thank you, Dr. Stan. Thank you. It was because of you that it helped me to get out of my comfort zone. It was because of you that helped me start feeling like Peter, like um, I was walking on water. And right now, I truly do believe I am walking on water. And um, I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for my wife and my two kids. I've been married to my lovely wife, uh, LaDonna Tubbs, for 17 years. And my, um, I have two daughters. Shanti and Vatani, so my two high schoolers, and I'm so blessed to have a wonderful family like them to push me, to help catapult me into my goals. Um, for the people that's listening to me on, on this call, um, my life didn't start well. At, well, as for me, you know, it really, it literally started when I was in second grade. It's when the school allowed the students to eat with their parents during lunch. When it was lunchtime, they placed the parent and their child in the middle of the cafeteria and on a side where students eating all alone because their parents didn't show up. And I was one of those students. While I was eating my food, I thought about my mother, a single parent raising four kids all by herself. Then I thought about my father. Where is my father? I screamed in my mind. And the more I contemplated my situation, I felt like a child that was locked in a dark closet. But this closet didn't have the four walls a sheet rock. This closet had the four ghosts staring down at me. It was the ghost of anger that was in front of me. It was the ghost of embarrassment that was on my right side. It was the ghost of neglection on my left side. And it was the ghost of shamefulness on my back side. As I sat there, tears started welling up in my eyes and one escaped and fell down my face. 
Have you ever felt this way before? Well, I felt this way throughout my junior high and high school. So I made a promise to myself. Whenever I have children, I'm going to become a world-class father. And everything changed for me when I joined the military. And one of the most profound conversations I had while serving was with my first sergeant. And it became my foundation for life. You see, First Sergeant Torres, he asked me a question one day because he found out that I wanted to become an NCO. An NCO is nothing but a non-commissioned officer. He stepped to me and he said, Specialist Tubbs, I heard that you want to become an NCO. I said, yes, First Sergeant Torres, I do. He said, great, Specialist Tubbs, great. But before you become an NCO, I must ask you this one question. What is the difference between an E5, a sergeant, and an NCO? When I first heard that, I thought he was playing. Because in my mind, an E5 is a sergeant. A sergeant is an NCO. So I stepped back to him. I said, first sergeant Torres, there's no difference. He looked at me and he said, special self, there's a difference. And I want you to remember this for the rest of your life. Mm -mm. He said, an E5 is a pay grade. Some people are in a leadership position because of the money. A sergeant is a rank. Some people are in a leadership position because of the authority that it gives. But an NCO, special subs, an NCO is a leader. Some people are in a leadership position because they lead by example. Now, special subs, if you want this leadership position because of the money and the authority that it gives, your troops will recognize it and they will hate you. But, special subs, if you want this leadership position because you want your troops to become great by demonstrating how you are becoming great, your troops will recognize it, and they will love you. Now, I don't know who I'm speaking to on this phone call. I don't know if you are a parent or not, but understand this. Listen to me. You cannot lead your children to their greatness by using the dictatorship method. You cannot point your children to their greatness if you don't care about that financial future. But I tell you this one thing, but you can lead them and show them how to become great by demonstrating how you are becoming great. They call me the acronym man. And I want you to write this down. Note takers are money makers. I learned this from my mentor, Dr. Stan Harris. The weakest ink is stronger than the strongest memory. So whenever I say write this down, I want you to write this down. Parents, my acronym for parents is passionate, advisors, reinforcing every need through school. My name is Willie Tubbs. After thousands of hours of reading books, listening to audio programs, and learning through trial and error, and having the opportunity to have a person like Dr. Stan to pour into my life. I have literally created a three-step process called the reset method. And as a result, you learn how to rescue yourself. Lead your children to their greatness and pursue a career that enables you to live with passion and purpose. I'm like the genie in a bottle. Make three wishes and I will deliver. Who do you know? that's willing to get out their own way, to become unstoppable, to achieve every goal they set for themselves. I wonder if I'm talking to the right crowd this morning. I don't have that much time, but I want to give you three points today that's going to help you to reset your life by resetting your day. Mm, mm -mm. Let me get started. Oh, I'm so... I feel so good this morning. Mm, thank you, God. 
first point, first point, I want you to get mad at your situation. Get mad. My acronym for mad is make a decision. Make a decision. Yes, while I was in high school, I didn't tell you that I met my father for the first time. But two years later, he died of cancer. Sitting at his funeral, I was so mad at life. I was so mad at the world because I didn't have a relationship with him. So I made that decision that I was going to become great. And not just that, I made a decision that whenever my children comes into the world, I'm going to tell them that it's okay to have heroes and sheroes in your life, but I'm going to be your number one role model. I'm going to show you how to start from the bottom and work your way all the way to the top. And many of us, if we actually have problems in our lives and we have storms in our lives, understand this, write this down, what a storm is. A storm is something that only remains momentarily. We have to push through things. Because there is sunlight on the other side of the valley. And as we push through those things, understand when you make a decision, I remind what Dr. Stan told me a long time ago, whenever you're trying to make up in your mind to do something, say this to yourself, when I make up in my mind to do something, God would orchestrate circumstances to allow themselves in my favor. When I say I can't, my mind stops trying. But when I ask, how can I, my mind will keep searching until it finds a way. There is a way, and I will find it. If not, by the grace of God, I will invent it. Oh, did you get that? When you make up your mind, God would orchestrate circumstances to align around your faith. But you got to make that decision. Get mad at your situation and M-A-D, make a decision. Point number two. Point number two. I want you to press the reset button. Even though I cannot hear you right now because we are muted, I want you to understand this. Whenever I say press the button, I want you to say reset. Press the button. Yes, I hear you. Reset. Mm. It was 9 o'clock in the morning. I noticed my phone was ringing, and I picked up my phone. And it was my readiness NCO, Sergeant LeGrain. And she said to me, Specialist Tubbs, you have been activated. You have 24 hours to report to the unit. I said, yes, I will be there. I hung up the phone, not knowing that my wife was listening to the whole conversation. I looked at her. Tears was going down her face. And she ran to me and hugged me. And she said, call me every day. You see, in life, you must be prepared for the unexpected and the expected. But did you know the most ex, um, expected thing we believe in life is one day that we will become old? And also, did you know the most unexpected thing that we believe is today could be our last day of living? Now, the question is, how can we plan for our tomorrow but live in our present? We must learn and understand the principle that every day is a new year. See, a couple years ago, God told me to stop celebrating January the 1st as a new year. We hear it all the time that you're supposed to live each day just like your last. But at this particular moment in time, God, he gave it to me in a, 
in a way, in a logical way, that it never left me. And I want to give you this nugget. He said, every day is a new year. I said, God, uh, how is every day is a new year? Then he started talking to me. He said, just think about it. Like today is January the 20th, 2020. Just think about this. January the 20th, 2019 to January the 20th, 2020 is one year. Every day is a new year. And when I understood this, I realized that every day I have a moment in time that I can start my life over. I don't have to wait until January the 1st for me to say I'm going to step out into my greatness, that I can really be the best person of me today. I remember watching cartoons with my children. And yes, you may laugh at me. I'm still I'm still watching cartoons to this day. I'm 37 years old. I'm still watching cartoons to this day because of this one nugget that I got from cartoons. Me and my daughters was watching Kung Fu Panda. At, at this particular scene in this movie, the panda wanted to become a Kung Fu master, but he realized it was too much work to be done to be a master. And the grandmaster stepped to him and he said, where are you going, Poe? Which is the panda. And Poe said, I'm going home. Then the grandmaster said this that was very profound to me. He said, understand this. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. But today, today, today is a gift. That's the reason why we call it a prince. Every day you have a gift for you to change your life. Every day you have a moment in time for you to say, I messed up yesterday, but today I can get it right. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning, but you can get it right today at this moment in time. And all you have to do is say, reset. Reset. Press the button. Come on, let me hear you. Reset. Now write this down. Reset. My acronym for reset is remember every situation equals transformation. Reset your mind. When you reset your mind, you begin to understand that I only have this moment in time to become great. I was watching one of my um, stars, uh, my mentors out there in the football arena named Patrick Mahomes. Last week, they was down 24 points. They was playing against uh, Houston, Texas. But one thing that changed, he went to his players. He said, it's okay. We're going to do this one play at a time. we down 24 points, but we're going to win this game. And guess what? They won the game. It was, I think the end score was 52 to something, which it was, I think it was 20-something. How do you come from a 24-point deficit to winning a game over 20 points? It's because he focused on the play one play at a time. And that's what we must do. We must focus in on our day one day at a time. Reset. Reset your mind. Point number three. I'm running out of time, but you know, I'm very, uh, I'm just so appreciate what God has downloaded to me so I can give to you this morning so you become the best version of you. Third point. Okay, now that you have pressed the reset button, but first you made a decision, you got mad, you pressed the reset button. The third thing is you're going to walk out your reset. You're going to walk it out. When I arrived at the unit, I was in formation. First Sergeant Torres was calling out everybody's name for roll call. 
And when he called my name, I ran to him. He gave me my orders. And when I went back into the formation, I had my orders in my hand. Then on first Sergeant Torres, he dismissed the whole formation. I looked at my orders. I said, oh, my God. Hold on. I see my name. I see the unit that I'm, that I'm supporting. I see my job description, which is an MOS. And I see the time slot that I'm going to be gone for a whole year to Iraq. But at this particular time, it blew my mind because a month prior, I was studying something that was called the five questions of life. And we answer these five questions subconsciously before we engage in any activity. These questions we answer, you literally answer these questions before you got on this phone call this morning. You answer these questions before you decided to put on that T-shirt this morning. You answer these questions before you realize that you had something to do this morning. Do you know what these questions are? The first question is, why am I here? The second question is, where do I come from? The third question is, who am I? The fourth question is, what can I do? The fifth question is, where am I going? Why am I here is a question of purpose. Where do I come from is a question of heritage. Who am I is a question of identity. What can I do is a question of potential. Where am I going is a question of destiny. Now we have to walk out our reset. And by walking out our reset, we must use the vertical reset. The horizontal reset is remember every situation equals transformation. But now we're going to use the vertical reset. Now we're going to walk it out, which means the R in reset is answering the question of why am I here? This is a question of purpose. And the R in reset is remember you was created to solve a problem. Yes, you was created to solve a problem. Teachers are created to save lives, to solve the problem through uneducated children. Police officers were created to solve the problem of crime. Doctors were created to solve the problem of bad health. The Army, Marines, Air Force, and the Navy were created to solve the problem of national security. Another way of saying it is a dream. You have a dream in life. Mm, write this down. What is a dream? A dream. This is my acronym for dream. A dream is a divinely revealed event awaiting manifestation. Your dream is waiting on you. And when you understand your dream, you begin to understand why you must pursue it. I don't know if anybody told you why you must pursue your dream. I'm going to tell you this morning. And when you understand this, you will, you will literally be catapulted to another level. No, let me say that. Let me say this. To another dimension. Because I realized through Simon T. Bailey that there are seven levels in a dimension. And by you getting a certain nugget in your life, you are be able, you will be able to go to another dimension. I'm about to give that to you right now. This is the reason why you must go for your dream. Your dream is like a seed, right? And when you start going for your dream, you begin to water that seed, which eventually grows up into a tree that produces fruit. But guess what? The fruit that's on a tree is never there for its own enjoyment. Mmm. Did you get that? It's for other people to enjoy. Your fruit is your legacy. Your life is not just yours. You are here for a reason. 
You must go for your dreams so I can eat your fruit. For the last five years, I've been eating the fruit of Dr. Stan Harris. And by him doing what he's supposed to do in life, it literally catapulted, catapulted me to do what I'm supposed to do in life. So that's the reason why you must go for your dreams. And when you understand that you were created to solve a problem, now I made this decision. I pressed the reset button, and now I'm walking out my reset that uh, I'm remembering that I was created to solve a problem. We all were created to solve a problem. And for me, I was the problem for our children in school. Our children go to school every day, and they suffer injustice. Nelson Mandela said, there's no keener revelation of a society soul than a way in which they treat their children. Our children every day are being, are being shamed because they don't have money to eat lunch. God created me to solve this problem. And this Friday, I'm literally wrote the vision that God has given me to solve this problem. But I wrote it in a way that it would serve your needs. The name of my book that I wrote it is called Caught Between a Dream and a Job, How to Tap into a New Life Through the Economy of God. In this book, you will learn how to never worry about money ever again because you realize that Money is not the end result of anything. You realize it, that it's the relationships with individuals that would catapult you to another dimension because in the kingdom, relationships are the currency of the kingdom. And when you understand this, we will begin together and realize that the Black Wall Street that was burnt down a long time ago in 1921, it, it is literally what was God. It was God's plan of action of God's economy. I asked God, show me what is your economy. Then he took me to Acts chapter 4 and found out that it was the same plan of action that was done in the Black Wall Street. So it literally, in short term, I'm bringing back the Black Wall Street, the concept, to show people, to show the world that this is how you're supposed to do it. God told me a long time ago, if you want to uh, change the world, change someone's economy. That's why I believe in this call. Pastor Kenny, I appreciate you. Dr. Breakthrough, I appreciate you. And by understanding this, we will literally change the world. Because one of the most powerful things is the economy. Why do we vote every four years to have a new person come in to change our economy? Why? It's because the economy is the, uh, it's the livelihood. The, uh, it is the, the blood of the nation. And God has downloaded a plan of action on how we can save the world by changing someone's economy. Dr. Stan, I'm done. I love you. I call you um, Big Pops because, really, I'm going to say this in front of everybody. It was you. It was you that I dedicated. I, I declare that you were my father. Thank you, Dr. Stan. Wow, wow, wow. I'll tell you something, folks. This is powerful, practical, 
And uh, Willie, man, I tell you what. By the way, when I was 37, bro, I wasn't speaking that good. <laughs> so, so you know, uh, one of the greatest joys I have is to be able to empower people to exceed uh, what I've done. And I hope you all, you know, um, I hope you all understand that, you know, it's Pastor Kenny, we say shark, shark. One of the things he says, a shark is most misunderstood, uh, you know, so – so one of the things that has been most misunderstood about me is people don't understand the things that I do, you know, reaching crown seven. That, that's not for me. That's, that's for y'all. To see. That's for you to see it can be done. It, and, and, and if you don't make that, at least you can make the, the, the goal that you thought you couldn't make, you can at least make it. So, so all the things that we do, my friend, is to empower other people is to show a way that, hey, listen, you can break through, you can do this. And, uh, Willie, this, man, this is so powerful. As a matter of fact, I knew he was going to be a, a just incredible speaker and whatever. I, here's, here's one of the clues. Everything I, I was like, man, you got to get Myron's book. Go to freebookandtrialoffer.com. He's like, dude, I, I'm on there now ordering it, right? Uh, you got to go to the One Year Millionaire Live. He's probably been to three or four of them, <laughs> right? Um, and uh, just like a sponge, man, he gr- grabs it. And, and matter of fact, I was speaking in Houston at uh, one time, and I said, man, you, if, if you can make it down to Houston. And uh, he's like, okay, man, I'll drive all night if I have to. I'm getting there. I got, you know. And uh, as a matter of fact, I think when uh, well, Coach, when uh, he launched up left, I called him. I said, dude, man, I'm speaking. If you can get on, he said, man, I'll be there. And he got there, right? And so then um, when I launched my speaking program, he's the first person to go through my, my high-level – high-level speaker course, okay? And as a matter of fact, I think if I remember the story right, he only had like three hours sleep or something, or maybe it was up, I don't know, but but drove all the way, and went, and he was the first person to go through it, so we actually did it live. And uh, we met and uh, took him through it, and, um, and so I told him then, and when I was listening to him uh, Saturday, and then afterwards I saw people going to his book and buy, going to his table and buying his book, I told him back then, I said, Willie, people are going to buy your information. You want me to tell you why? He said, why? It's because you keep investing in yourself. You buy programs. You, buy, you, know, you, you, you get this, and you, and you get the deal. See, some people think you're trying to get them to buy something so you can make something from them. Other people, like Willie, understand you're trying to get them to circulate and invest in themselves, one, because you know, people of substance, that's what they understand. You free, 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 free people don't produce anything of value, okay? Coach 100K didn't become Coach 100K. He, he, he didn't make millions by not investing in himself. And uh, and each and every one of you on this line of, that, that God's using in a mighty way, you know there's these things and, and uh, programs and such situations you've invested in. So, man, tell LaDonna, you, you, uh, you, you made us all, man, godly proud. God used you in a mighty way. And keep on, man. Uh, appreciate your humility and your your uh, just hard work ethic, and how you just you make people sense and feel like there's hope, and that, my friend, can never you, there can never be a price tag on that. So, Coach 100K, man, what you got to say, uh, man, man, man? We've been mm-hmm. this morning. On this free My line. goodness, Doctor, what he does, man. I'm telling you right now, bro. Uh, if this is the beginning, uh, I tell you what, God is uh, going to use you. I hear this. I hear that God is going to use you to replace some of the generals that we've had in this industry when it came down to like the Jim Rohns and the uh, Les Browns and guys out there that he is, he is preparing you to be a major general in this industry. I just heard that. I want to pass that on to you, my brother. Your heart comes through your message, and it inspires because people know it's it's coming from a real good place. Uh, so um, I want to share it with you. I also want you to comment just a little bit more because you bless me. But on changing someone else's economy, but but more importantly, relationships being kingdom currency. Relationships mm. being kingdom currency. If you could spend just about another three or four minutes on that, I'd appreciate you digging in a little bit. What do you mean when you talk about the relationships 
being currency in the kingdom. Okay, exactly. Yes, uh, Coach 100K. Yes, um, Pastor Kenny. Yes, let me ex- uh, expound on this. Okay, for instance, this past weekend, I was at a conference and I spoke at a conference with one of my heroes' uh, son and my mentor. Right, and by me, by me being connected to Dr. Stan Harris, I, um, I automatically was connected to Miss Adele Foster, and by um, and Miss Adele Foster was the person that put on the reset conference. So therefore, by me being connected to Dr. Stan, I literally, I was literally, my currency was driven through the relationship from Dr. Stan Harris to Adele Foster and to everyone else that was inside of the conference. So therefore, my sales from my book this weekend, it, um, it came through through the relationships that I have with Dr. Stan and Adele Foster. To give a good uh, short description of what a current uh, uh, a relationships are the currency of the kingdom. And plus, I may not have nothing, but if I'm connected to someone that has something, if my relationship is good with them, no matter what, because in the kingdom, oh, come on, God, I hear you. In the kingdom, the most precious asset of the king is the people. And when we understand that from the kingdom of God, we begin to understand that no matter what, I'm going to be there for you. It reminds me of the the acronym that Dr. Stan taught me a long time ago by family, F-A-M-I-L-Y, forget about me, I love you. So in a a small description of this time frame, that's what the currency uh, uh, relationships are the currency of the kingdom. Wow. Wow. Now, I'd like to, I'd like to piggyback with, on that. You blessed me with that because a lot of times, Dr. Tuggs, as you know, we're so quick to throw away a relationship. And I think the enemy tries his best to call that to be uh, the biggest relationship breaker, misunderstanding and offense, taking an offense and not trying to uh, overcome it or look past it. Or to even get back on the air, I'm through with you. I'm done. You know, that's it, bro. <laughs> you know, I think that um, we're throwing away millions of dollars when we throw away relationships. And that's why I heard you say, uh, is that correct? That is correct, Pastor Kenny. That is correct. I mean, millions and millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. So if a person really grasps what that currency of relationships are, the currency of the kingdom, you will literally change your life overnight. Literally. Wow. Literally. Wow. I can't take no more that to break through. Back over to you, Shark Shark. Shark Shark. Well, again, this has been incredible. Let's unmute the lines. I'm sure folks want to show some appreciation. I've been getting text people talking about, man, this is off the chart. This blessed me. This helped me. This is encouraging me. And so thank you, uh, Willie, for allowing the Lord to speak through you and to use you in a mighty way. And uh, all right, I'm going to unmute the lines. Thank you, Mr. Tuck. No problem. Thank you, Mr. Tuck. Great job. Thank you, Willie John. Thank you very much. Very good. Appreciate you coming on this morning. It was really enlightening. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Reset. Reset. I like that. Really, I don't think you understand how prophetic that was. So there's a reset in the whole nation. So I appreciate that. And there's a deeper revelation than what you spoke today. Thank you. Yeah. 
Billy Cobb, this information was very, very, very transforming, very revolutionary. It's very, very, um, it's one of the best calls I've been on. This is very, very good, very good, very good. Thank God for the message and the net all. Thank you for confirming how important relationships are. They are yes. the currency of the kingdom. Thank you. Relationships. How how do we stay in contact with Bully Tubbs and his information? How do we stay in contact with his information and follow him and his information? Um, yes, I would like to give you the information. I forgot to put that out there, but um, you can go to my website, willytubs.com, www.willytubs.com, and you can also follow. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, okay everybody hear me? I mean, I'm good. Um, you, you can follow me. You can follow me on Facebook. You can just find my name, Willie Tubbs, and you'll see the company underneath Willie Tubbs, which is Agents of Change, LLC. Um, and another thing, too, you could go to my um, well, website, which is willytubbs.com, www.willytubbs.com. And my uh, my mission in life, my vision is in life is to transform leaders. I mean, to transform followers into leaders and leaders into agents of change. Yeah, my new book is coming out called Between a Dream and a Job. It's coming out this Friday, and uh, I'm very excited about that. And I truly do believe, y'all. I'm say this with full conviction: business would never be done the same as you. I'm going to say that again. Business, it would never be done the way we've been doing it. It's going to change because when we understand the kingdom and understand how relationships are the currency of the kingdom, I break it down in that book that I wrote that's coming out this Friday. So um, you could go to, matter of fact, it's a pre-order right now, pre-order. You could go to my website and you can go ahead and pre-order. Make oh, sure thank you, Dr. Vance, for <clears throat> oh, yeah, Tubbs, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. W-I-L-L-I-E-T-U-B-B-S dot com. W-W-W dot W-I-L-L-I-E-T-U-B-B-S dot com. Thank you, Dr. Stan. Thank you for everything you have done in my life. All righty, well, thank you. <clears throat> 